of all art forms. The kind you see, you smell, taste, and touch. Gentleman Jack is opening up their platform to give artists that look like us the platform to tell their story and showcase their craft. I'm excited to learn more and document with my photography how each of these mixologists create masterpieces in every carefully crafted cocktail. Join me as we get to know this year's culture shakers. What do you feel your role is as a bartender? There's a lot of layers uh, to what it is to be a bartender. It's being an ear to listen, a new friend, there for relief, for laughter, for even you know some forms of love. This is probably one of the most collaborative, creative industries, and there's always just a moment to learn, a moment to grow. I think that's also kind of what being a culture shaker is all about. Understanding the history, how much effort, how much work goes into the product itself. There is a legacy experience in all of it. It's that generational value of making sure that everything sustains its originality. I tell a story in how I bartend. Everything, the way I shake, the way I pour, the way I dance. I feel like there are layers to me. The bar gives me the opportunity to really show those layers. I always want people to be in that comfort zone, knowing that they can come to my bars and be unapologetically you. Being able to make a great cocktail and also bring yourself to the bar, you know, you can make great change. From the moment we stepped onto the property, it just really opened my eyes to whiskey. Uh, like, don't get me wrong, I understand whiskey, I enjoy whiskey. I've been to a distillery before, but something about the Jack Daniels distillery, with it having its own cooperage and stave mill and all of these people that are so knowledgeable, it's awesome to be around people that have this knowledge and are willing to pass it along. And I just want to take that and do the same thing. How did your Mexican upbringing influence your, your craft cocktails. What I like to bring based on my own Mexican culture is that sense of family, that sense of community that I was brought up in. It's not a competition towards anybody, it's about how can we bring each other up. I really try to focus on mentorship. I really try to focus on growth and community. I wanted to help you grow as a person, help you grow behind the bar and have an environment that's just safe and very inclusive for everybody. What I took away from this experience is that how passionate people and a company that is so passionate about the product that they put out can kind of rekindle your love for the hospitality industry and almost get me excited to go back and share these stories. When we were sharing our experiences, good and bad, I picked up a lot of stuff that I would love to take back and try with my own bar team. People talk about Jack Daniels and our brand, and it's this kind of American symbol that's known worldwide, sold in over 170 countries. And they say, well, how did Jack Daniels become that brand? What makes it so unique, so special? And obviously, I believe in the quality of the whiskey that we make 100%. It is unique. It is high quality. You know every single bottle of Jack Daniels is going to have that flavor in it, no matter where you're at in the world. But secondly, every single drop came from right here in this town of 600 people and these families that have been making our whiskey. Um, and so when you talk about quality control, when you talk about that family and the lineage back over the years, people take a lot of pride in that. So yeah, it won't take but a splash, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I create the environment that I want to be in. A warm environment, a bubbly environment. I just want my customers to be comfortable enough to come talk to me because you never know what kind of day the person coming to your bar is having. So if you can change their day with that one drink, one conversation, even if they come in and just get water, I appreciate that. It was really like a phenomenal experience getting to meet other people that are other bartenders too, not only from Huntsville, but people from other cities. To be like unfamiliar with this experience and then actually knowing the process and then getting to taste it straight from the barrel in comparison to the bottle, that was pretty cool. Arizona is very, very new to the cocktail scene. I get to build the culture that I want to see. Yeah, it's dope because it's kind of like you're, you're working off a blank canvas. Absolutely. It allows me to be extremely creative. I want to see more people take this craft seriously. I want to see people enjoying high quality spirits. Being behind the scenes and touching all the barrels and learning how everything is made, it gives you more of a perspective in that Jack Daniels, even though it's a big company, they didn't lose the craft aspect when it comes to making the whiskey. It's a culture of people taking the whiskey extremely seriously. How has your Venezuelan culture inspired the culture you create for your customers? It's very hospitality rich. Uh, most of our words of affection are offerings. My guests will sit down. It's very people forward. It's not drink forward. It's the idea of making people feel heard, making people feel welcome. We got a very good amount of time to talk to the people who work here, people who live here, people who are part of this brand. And the heritage of Jack Daniels really goes beyond the whiskey. It really felt very vindicating to see that not only is it normal, it's a good standard to have to do things with love. It, it makes the craft feel elevated. It feels like we're a part of something that is important and matters and is good. Oh man, this has been an amazing experience. I feel like I have six new friends. It's been amazing talking to these bartenders, getting to know their story. I feel like no matter what city I go to, I know which bar to hit now. This is my first time in the Jack Daniels distillery, and I got some great memories from this. Being a culture shaker for me is a sense of belonging, community, and creativity. It's the ability for young men and women like myself of color to go ahead and show themselves for who we are and the nature in what we do. Being a culture shaker and being able to empathize with people and, and put myself in their shoes and then also tie it into me making drinks, it makes me feel like I have a platform to create change. I'm able to give my own story, my own perspective, express my Mexican American culture for everyone to see. I think as a bartender, I need to bring myself to the responsibility of telling the story of the spirit when I make the cocktail. We're doing something new, something innovative, but still in the respect of keeping that craft, keeping the love intact. A culture shaker for me is the glue. I mean, we're, we're all different as individuals. No matter where you come from, we have different stories, but they bring everyone together using their talents and they shake it up.